Hello friends, welcome back and a warm welcome to any newcomers. This is a world of colour, the channel where I share insights into my journey as a full-time artist. This is the third episode in our little mini-series about my current collection, titled A Relational Web of Being and Becoming. Today I want to focus on one of the earliest paintings in this collection and the past four months of layering work that has gone into it. I'll delve into how this painting was influenced by and in turn influenced the rest of the collection. We'll explore this symbiotic relationship between paintings, how they each tell their own story yet collectively contribute to the larger narrative of a series. The process for this piece began with an element of play, specifically by incorporating colours that felt counterintuitive to me. I rarely work with earth tones, let alone start with them. But this canvas somehow called for them. Little did I know the themes of decay and darkness that guided this painting would permeate most of this collection. This series feels deeply informed by our current turbulent world. Each painting resting at the intersection of political and spiritual praxis. I am aware that many people believe art and politics or social action should remain separate. However, for me, art is inherently political. Art is a response to the world I live in. Whether it serves as an escape from it or engages in dialogue with it, the very act of creating and sharing work and ideas is political. As an artist, I believe it is my responsibility to stay informed about issues that naturally resonate with me, such as women's rights and climate justice. But equally important is expanding my knowledge on topics that I find challenging or hold biases about, such as war, conflict, racial justice, especially given my background as a white woman raised in a Western country. And yes, doing this work, looking towards suffering rather than away, researching our deeply disturbing colonial pasts and examining the suffering created by imperial choices and decisions has been profoundly challenging. The trauma from these events continues to manifest today, as much of the damage and wrongdoing has gone unrecognized. All these elements became an integral part of this painting, titled Nothing Can Be Changed Until It Is Faced. To me, this painting embodies the necessity of confronting our past and acknowledging the pain it has caused. The title itself, inspired by the words of James Baldwin, speaks to the core of the painting's message. The imperative of facing the harsh truths of history to foster healing and progress. For me, this painting served as a call to action, urging me to look beyond the surface and to recognize the enduring impacts of colonialism, imperialism, and systemic injustice. This piece came through as a visual dialogue at the intersection of history, politics, and human experience.
Each layer, texture and hue came together to teach me about the complexity of these issues, the multifaceted nature of suffering and the urgent need for recognition and change. In today's divided society, art can bridge gaps and connect us on a human level. My hope is that we can all find the curiosity to learn more, to question more deeply and to act with greater empathy and awareness. Through this painting and the broader collection it belongs to, I hope to highlight the interconnectedness of political and spiritual realities and contribute to a more informed, just and compassionate society, no matter how small that contribution may be. What do you think? In what ways do you believe art can influence societal change? What impact do you think art can have on awareness or empathy? But also what themes underline your work? I'd love to hear more about it. Thank you for watching and joining me on another episode of this mini-series. It's been beautiful to share all of this with you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe as it greatly supports this channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the themes we discussed today and until next time, keep exploring, stay inspired and just tell some of your story. Alright then, bye for now. <laughs>